Is everything okay, Lieutenant? Chris was on patrol last night. He was attacked by a bunch of deviants. He said he was saved by Marcus himself. Is Chris okay? Yeah, he's in shock, but he's alive. Kamsky left Cyberlife ten years ago. Why did you want to meet him? <laughs> this guy created the first android to pass the Turing test, and he's the founder of Cyberlife. Anybody can tell us about deviance, it's him. Hank Anderson, Detroit Police Department. I'm here to see uh, Mr. Elijah Kamsky. Please, come in. Okay. I'll let Elijah know you're here, but please make yourself comfortable. Nice place. I guess androids haven't been a bad thing for everybody. Amanda. You're about to meet your maker, Connor. How's it feel? Kamsky is one of the great geniuses of the 21st century. It'll be interesting to meet him in person. Sometimes I wish I could meet my creator face to face. I'd have a couple of things I'd want to tell him. Elijah will see you now. Mr. Kamsky? Just a moment, please. I'm Lieutenant Anderson. This is Connor. What can I do for you, Lieutenant? Sir, we're investigating deviants. I know you left Cyberlife years ago, but I was hoping you'd be able to tell us something we don't know. D 
deviants. Fascinating, aren't they? Perfect beings with infinite intelligence, and now they have free will. Machines are so superior to us. Confrontation was inevitable. Humanity's greatest achievement threatens to be its downfall. Isn't it ironic? We need to understand how androids become deviants. Do you know anything that could help us? All ideas of viruses that spread like epidemics. Is the desire to be free a contagious disease? Listen, I didn't come here to talk philosophy. The machines you created may be planning a revolution. Either you can tell us something that'll be helpful, or we will be on our way. What about you, Connor? Whose side are you on? I'm on the human side, of course. <laughs> well, that's what you're programmed to say. But you. What do you really want? What I want is not important. Chloe? I'm sure you're familiar with the Turing test. Your formality. Simple question of algorithms and computing capacity. What interests me is whether machines are capable of empathy. I call it the Kamsky test. It's very simple, you'll see. Magnificent, isn't it? One of the first intelligent models developed by CyberLife. Young and beautiful forever. A flower that will never wither. But what is it really? A piece of plastic containing a human? Or a living being? With a soul? It's up to you to answer that fascinating question, Connor. Destroy this machine, and I'll tell you all I know. Or spare it, if you feel it's alive. But you'll leave here without having learned anything from me. Okay, I think we're done here. Come on, Connor, let's go. Sorry to get you What's out of here. What's more important pool? to you, Connor? Your investigation or the life of this android. Decide who you are. An obedient machine. Or a living being. Endowed with free will. That's enough. Connor, we're leaving. Pull the trigger. Connor! Don't! And I'll tell you what you want to know. Test negative. You choose your investigation over the life of another android, you feel no empathy. I'm a man of my word. Ask one question, and I'll tell you all I know. I want to know who RA9 is. RA9. The origin. The first android to awaken. A strange phenomenon, like a spontaneous religion. I don't know who RA9 is. I don't even know if it really exists. Maybe it's a messiah. Maybe it's just a myth. But deviants need to believe in something bigger than themselves, even if it's irrational. That's uh, something they have in common with humans. An interesting question, Connor. But maybe not the one you needed to ask. A war is coming. You'll have to choose your side. Will you betray your own people? Or stand against your creators? I wouldn't 
like to be in your shoes, Connor. What could be worse than having to choose between two evils? By the way, I always leave an emergency exit in my programs. You never know. You shot that girl for fuck's sake. It wasn't a girl, Lieutenant. It was a machine that looked like a girl. You put your gun against her head and you blew her fucking brains out! I did what I had to do to advance the investigation and I'd do it again if I had to. You're a lowlife. You don't feel a thing, do you? A machine, that's what you are. You're just a fucking machine! Of course I'm a machine, Lieutenant. What did you think I was? I thought you... I thought...